From acres of derelict dockland to a thriving business district, the sweeping transformation of London's Canary Wharf has come to fruition. This massive urban renewal project is now home to blue chip financial companies, high end hotels, bespoke shops and restaurants, and increasingly luxury real estate. Residential skyscrapers are springing up, turning the area into what Londoners like to describe as a mini Manhattan. And Canary Wharf, which earned its name because cargo shipped from the Canary Islands was once unloaded there, remains good value compared to prime London. This summer, sales began on apartments in the 41-storey main tower. Buyers lined up for the launch event, and all 208 apartments sold out in four hours. The first homes at Barclay Homes, South Key Plaza, also went on sale in the summer, with prices ranging from about $745,000 to $9 million. This skyscraper, 68 storeys, will be Britain's tallest residential tower when completed in 2020. Meanwhile, the Canary Wharf Group has just started work on a 57-storey tower. Its 468 apartments will go on sale at the start of next year. Another Canary Wharf development, 10 Park Drive, went on sale in July. 231 of its 345 apartments sold within seven weeks. By the time the residents of South Quay, Main Tower and the rest move in, Crossrail will be up and running, providing direct train services to both the west of London and Heathrow Airport. As one associate at Knight Frank says, we're seeing a shift of people who are cashing in on their homes in central London and moving to Canary Wharf because the transport links are just so fantastic.